Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It's currently about 4.30 a.m. <sighs> we went to bed about four hours ago, but we are up and we're gonna make our way to the harbour to then get on a boat at 5 a.m. for three hours with the woman that we booked last night. You'll have seen that in the previous vlog. Um, but basically we are going to the floating markets here in, where are we? Canton, Vietnam. Canto, Vietnam. Oh my gosh, I'm half asleep. Right, hello. Let's get going and meet this woman. Hopefully she's there. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too loudly because obviously we're outside at half four in the morning. But it's still dark, which is good because it means we might see the market at sunrise. But it's half four. It's going to take us... Oh, someone's up already. It's going to take us about... 10 minutes to get there so we're going to be there about 15 minutes early but that's fine I'd rather be there earlier than late yeah this is exciting a bit of a midnight adventure so we're walking to the harbour there's a cafe it's always busy but I didn't think it would be at four in the morning half four in the morning but there's at least six people there which is a little bit crazy but otherwise the streets are pretty empty so this is the meeting point right here. She said she'd be here at five o'clock. So we're here 15 minutes early. But as you can see, it's still dark here. There's lots, there's lots of lights, which is good. Our guide is here, which is good. And look at all the boats waiting for people to get on. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because it's quite dark. There's some that side as well. So we're now just waiting five minutes for our boat to arrive. Still pitch black. So I think this is our boat here. So it was really hard for me to vlog on this day trip because the motor of the boat was super loud. So I wanted to do a little bit of a voiceover and talk to you about what we saw. So we saw these men <laughs> working out in the middle of the night on the bridge and I thought it was brilliant. Um, there was lots of tourist boats with big groups. So I think we're here. Um, there are some boats. It's starting to get light a little bit over there. And as you can see, it was still quite dark. It was such a surreal experience floating on a boat down a river with the stars in the sky and the pitch black sky. A magical moment, something I will not be forgetting anytime soon. But it was lovely to see the sun starting to rise and the sort of the sky start to light up a little bit. Again, more boats with tourists and you could start to see what people were doing with the lights on their boats, which was fantastic. So if you can see the pole up there, you can see what they're selling. Now obviously it's too dark at the moment to really see, but apparently that's how you know what they're selling is what's on their long pole on the boat. So hopefully when it gets a bit lighter, I'll be able to show you properly, but I think that's super cool. So this one here is selling pineapples. Pineapple. Look at all the pineapples. Wow. So it's about five to six. So far it's not entirely what we're expecting. I think just because it's just the sellers at the moment and there's no one particularly buying, but it is fun nonetheless. I really enjoyed the boat ride actually, like being on a boat under the stars was really cute. Um, it's now starting to get light. So we've seen a couple of boats full of pineapples, which is really cool, bloody little pineapples. So there's a lot of tourists here. There's a lot of tourist boats. I'm quite glad that we're on a small one because it means that we don't have like a tour guide talking the whole time and like other people talking things. selling pumpkins. So I actually took quite a few photographs on this day trip so I'm sharing a couple here. There's quite a few in this video. Um, I really hope you like them. But this is all the boats lined up and as you can see there's the poles on top which shows you what food they are selling. This is when the sun started to show and the sky started being orange and it was just gorgeous. Lots of different people selling lots of different things. Again, this is the pole here showing you what the food available is. 
and there's different people on bigger boats but also people on smaller boats as well and we actually stopped on one of these for a bit of a look around which you're going to see now Okay, so we got off the boat and we've arrived here where you can buy things. <laughs> I'm not really sure what yet, what I've looked around. Look at these, it's all fish all squashed together or something. They had lots of different fish available. I think they're dried. I'm not sure how you eat them, if you eat them raw like that, or if you have to cook them or put them in a meal. I'm really not sure, but it was so interesting to see all the different types of fish and how they dry them and preserve them and then sell them on to the public. Here's some more photographs that I took that I wanted to include in this video because I love photography and I think it's a really great way to show the day. There's a fire here cooking things and there's literally a cat there. Oh my goodness, it must be so warm. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am home again? There's these different noodles you can get. You can get orange, blue, purple, green and white. I have no idea what the colourings are. You can also get small bundles, I'm not sure what that is, but then there's pastas, I'm not sure what this is either, <laughs> but there's different pastas as well. Get one to try? So this woman was making almost like sushi, it was rice and coconut with sesame seeds and a bit of sugar and she said green bean I think. We ended up trying some and it was actually pretty good um a little bit interesting you'll see my reaction in just a moment so <laughs> you can enjoy that I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. okay so i've just got one of these apparently it's coconut and green bean i believe she said so i wonder if the green bean is jackfruit stuff oh i hope not Fruit. Yeah. A bit of sugar as well, she said. It's interesting. She doesn't like it. <laughs> no, not bad. It's interesting. You try one. She's got some more of them hair drying. The woman making those is making an absolute killing. Oh my goodness. She's got people queuing. She's a good businesswoman. And this is the view. My goodness. Okay, we've been given these hats to wear. I've got this one. Jeremy has got like a cap version. It's too small for my head. But. but we're now going to the canals apparently, which would be nice. Of course we took some more photographs in our hats and on the boat and we ended up going down the canals they call it so it's kind of just a little bit away from where the markets are situated but you get to see the kind of behind the scenes of Kanto. So there's lots of houses on stilts kind of over the water we actually saw some people in the shower, in the bath, things like that, making food, making breakfast, because obviously it was first thing in the morning. So, so beautiful, but it was also so interesting to see kind of outside of the town and the tourist centre. This is how other people live, and it was really interesting to see both and kind of, not compare, but just to see kind of both worlds rather than just the touristy bit. As you can see, the sun started coming up, so I've got some really lovely videos with the sunrise, which is brilliant. And then we made our way back to the market which was fantastic because it was hard to take photographs in the morning because it was too dark. So actually when I got a little bit later I was able to take more photographs so I'm going to let you enjoy some of those.
This was fantastic as well, watching them throwing the watermelons to each other and packing them up from you know, different boats. And then Jeremy flew the drone. Enjoy the footage. So there's some more photographs here of different boats selling different things. You can see onions, you can see watermelons. Again, you can see them throwing two at a time, which was I've never seen that before. We find ourselves starting from scratch. Brick by brick. A couple more photographs because I loved it. I just this woman here was making soup and it was fascinating to watch her. But then also to take some photographs of her with the steam coming out and the black boat behind her, the contrast was amazing and I just love these four photographs, I think they're brilliant. We then floated a little while in one place. This is where Jeremy actually flew his drone, but I put the content in just a little bit beforehand. But it was nice to sit still and just see people passing by and people going about their business. Rather than travelling through the market, it was nice to sit in one place and get different photographs and just watch the locals and just see what they're doing. So now it's daylight, you can actually see the top of the boats and you can see the things that they're selling. Which is such a cool way to be able to distinguish like what you want to buy. And this is the last lot of photographs and videos, so you can see just a couple of photographs again of the boats, of the vendors. Look at this boat full of pineapples, oh my goodness. So incredible. Again, throwing food. I'm not sure if that's mushrooms or onions. I don't know. But we then made our way back to Kanto town. You can see us here just enjoying the boat ride. And I filmed a little bit of the different scenery on the way back, so some of the different buildings, the petrol pump, things like that. So the tour was from 5am until 8am, we actually got back to the hotel at 8.30, we picked up a pineapple on the way home and we basically went to sleep. I did end up vlogging this but for some reason the audio of that video just didn't work and the video is just mute. So I need to come on here while I'm editing just to give you a little bit of a round up and sort of talk to you about what happened. So we really really enjoyed the boat trip, highly recommend it. It was kind of different to what we were expecting, I think we were expecting a lot more buyers and maybe less tourists, I don't know. But either way, really enjoyed it. We really enjoyed seeing that part of Vietnam and how, you know, it was just a little bit different to the rest of Vietnam, which I thought was really great to see different parts of the country. But we then went to sleep from about half eight, nine o'clock until about 12, I think it is. But the rest of the vlog continues, so I'm gonna let you watch that. Okay, it is now 2 p.m. <laughs> we managed to sleep from about half eight until about half 12, something like that, about four hours. 
Um, I've just been chilling, honestly, looking on Instagram and YouTube and things like that. And we've decided we're going to go out for some lunch because it's 2pm and we've not really eaten today apart from those little coconut things. So we're going to go for some lunch. We've also taken our laptops so we can go to probably a Highlands Cafe and get some work done. So I need to completely edit my video for tonight. I've not even started it. I've also got lots of photographs to edit. Jeremy's got his drone stuff to do and his um, warrior flow stuff to do. So we're gonna go to a cafe afterwards and get some work done so that at least we're not like, we're out of the hotel, but we're still getting work done. So I think that's the plan. Um, yeah, feeling a little bit tired and a little bit, um, <laughs> Jeremy was like, what day is it? Like, what is going on? Because I think especially because we were up so early this morning and then came back to bed and then having like a second start to the day, it's just a bit confusing. Um, but yeah. We're, we're good. We're just a bit like <laughs> um, confused, I guess. Anyways, we're going to go out for some lunch. So we got a soup each. I ordered rice and chicken, which Johnny is sorting out for me because I don't like doing that. <laughs> and he's got his rice and his soup, and he got some mixed fish stuff, which looks really hot. That should be good. Okay, so we've come to Highlands um, Coffee to get a drink so that we can work here. I got the caramel one. I'm not sure if it has coffee in it or if it's just caramel and cream. I have no idea, so I thought we could try this together. Okay, let's try it. I'm coming up. It's got that jelly stuff in it. And it's coffee. No, total fail. here and close off the vlog thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the floating markets and then also the little bits that i filmed after that as well today's new year's eve so i'm going to start a brand new vlog so make sure you subscribe so you can watch this one when it comes out as well thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye